guy once said, politics makes strange bedfellows. Apparently so does homework. For like Kate Moss at a Weight Watchers meeting, I too am in hostile waters. Amber's house. Okay. Louis the Fourteenth destroyed the roots of feudalism, thereby... Do I have like the tiniest toes ever? Amber! <laughs> what? Are you going to contribute anything? No. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. The French Revolution. <gasps> Didn't that start in Cannes when room service cut off Marlon Brando? I never would have married you if I'd realized what shrink really referred to. And I also believe that the French Revolution gave us the phrase, let's eat a bunch of cake. Where's the corkscrew? Why don't you check next to your broom? It... Oh, <laughs> hello, pussycat. Does daddy's sweet potato need anything? No, no, my best daddy. We're just here slaving away at our homework. Oh, you make Papa Bear so proud. And Mama Bear so thirsty. What was that remark? Um, Amber, maybe we should come back later. Why? Well, your mom seems to have gone a little fairer. <laughs> oh, that? All married couples have their little tiffs. <laughs> Cher, I believe it's your turn. Okay, um, during the French Revolution, thousands were executed, mainly by the guillotine. Oh! Just tiffing. Uh, candy cane, uh, do you think you might be an angel and drive Dadakins to the market for some, uh, band-aids and thread? Uh, Daddy... Interrupting? <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, take your time. I'll, I'll wait for you in the car. Uh, your car? Of course, Rose Petal. Oh, and uh, Cher, would you ask your dad if he knows a good divorce attorney? Ooh, juicy. So who do you think's getting a divorce? Do you think I should be a foot model? is devastating, even for someone as feeling impaired as Amber. Knowing that she would be in a world of heritage, Dee and I are prepared to seek her out and do our best Mother Teresa impressions. Hi, Amber. How you doing? Oh, this has been such the day from hell. Well, things will get better. Remember, time heals all wounds. Do not even talk to me about heels. Do you know there is not a decent pair of leopard stilettos in this entire building? <sighs> Textbook denial. Classic cry for help. Amber, we know this is hard for you. And we really want you to know that if you need us in any way, we're here for you. Are you talking about my parents' divorce? <laughs> well, what else? Listen, Heidi Heidi Hose, this is the best thing to happen to me since Olestra. Parental guilt equals parental gifts. I've already turned Daddy's study into a Pilates gym. <laughs> wow. So now, if you'll excuse me, I have some of Daddy's plastic to spread around. <gasps> Crikey, it's Mommy Dearest. Oh. Hi, girlfriends. Hi. Oh, hi, Mother. Oh, please, that was the old me. This new me wants to spend more quality time together. Uh, isn't that why they invented Mother's Day? So, what do you say us gal pals do some hunk hunting? Oh, oh well, that'd be great, but Dee and I have to get going. We have the grunion running. Grunions. Be be before you go, group hug. <laughs> Do not leave me with that nightmare. Amber, she's your mother. Amber, let's go get veggie burritos. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, don't worry, I brought Beano. We won't be nuking each other. 
Stay. Oh, we got a posse in the house. <laughs> yeah, Sean, you could not be more the man if you was dating Anne Hayes. You and me at a Baywatch party? Man, this is epic. Whoo, yeah, epic. Uh, Murray, we have to talk. See, we really weren't invited to a... Yasmin, please be gentle on a brother. <laughs> Murr, I have a confession to make. Remember those few phobia issues I was dealing with? Few. Scared of shoe trees, horseshoes, everything sticky, guppies. Yeah, yeah. They've all cleared up. And I have one great man to thank for it. Oh, well, gratitude accepted. Now, let's get in there before somebody calls dibs on Carmen Electra. There is no Baywatch party! In there is just a confused, lonely, middle-aged man. Regis? Yeah. Amber's dad has been secretly treating me for my phobias. And now that Dr. Tripp's single, he's asked us to do him a favor. No, 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 no. See, Sean, that's one of my phobias. No, no, see, listen, all he needs us to do is infuse him with some of our legendary coolness. OK, your legendary coolness. So that's it? That's it. Make trip hip. <laughs> Make trip hip. Huh. Please. Nanu, nanu, hep cats. Sean, tell me this is the wrong house. I wish I could. Cameron Diaz Pixies. Quick trip to the Jane and we're out of here. <laughs> Get it, Jane, instead of John? I just made that up. Oh, God. I feel so alive. <laughs> Dig me a shallow grave. What have I done to deserve this? Well, shall I go chronologically or by grievousness of misdeed? Hold it. <laughs> we have a collegiate man which alert. Okay, plan of action. Hair flippage followed by slow, synchronized application of lip gloss. Okay, let's grab these human eclairs and hightail it out of here. Can't you save your mother? We can and must. <laughs> And wait just a second there, Blandy. It's my mother, so I'll handle the metaphor. Whatever. To my complete horror, this divorce situation has gone to pot. I mean, the whole mother-daughter thing was cute in terms of endearment, 
but at least Deborah Winger had a way out. Are you through? For now. Go. Color me catalogs. I'll never show my face in that mall again. A full frontal macarena. I can't believe it. Oh, it was beyond gross. It is time we grab the bull by the Rocky Mountain oysters and do something. And where do we fit in? Maybe a Hanson concert, but that is not important right now. You have to help me. Why? Give me one good reason. I will give you seven, as in the digits in your phone number. Ginger loves to gab with her best girlfriends. I met the most delicious guy at the mall. I mean, he's a little younger than I am, only a couple of decades. <laughs> Sold. What do you need? My old life back. Well, for that, you'd have to get your parents back together. Me? I am not a put-back-togetherer. I'm more of a search-and-destroyer. That's why I need you decent, caring, pathetic souls. Well, how did your parents fall in love in the first place? You know, maybe there's a clue there. It all started when Daddy was a young doctor doing a psychiatric internship. It was love at first sight. Well, if it was love at first sight, all we have to do is make them see one another as fresh again. Sure, and why don't I just make a hippo fly out of my hiney? Look, the best way to get your parents to notice each other again is good old-fashioned jealousy. Brilliant, Dee. All we need to do is get a woman interested in Trip and a man interested in Ginger. Mm, again, I feel that hippo fluttering. No, I really think we can make this happen. You know people sleazy enough to participate in a plan like this. Absolutely. Hello, Almost Artists Agency? I need a couple of actors. Okay, here's the gig. You're here to make a couple jealous. You must be joking. I've done Ibsen, Moliere, Beckett. Save the casting couch tales, Miss Shakespeare in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Do you want the job or not? Okay, I, I've prepared your character bios and your lines. Lines? Well, I assumed we'd just improv it. Wait, what was that hit show where the actors made up all their own lines? Oh yeah, there's never been one. Mommy, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. This is Lance. <laughs> Enchanted. Ah, hey, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. Trip, this is Michelle. Michelle, Dr. Marins. Hello, Doctor. Oh, my. Michelle's a graduate student in psychology at USC. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> been disturbing me since they cut the cord. <laughs> Mom, Dad's here with a younger woman. Your father? Where? Oh. That's nice, dear. Now, Lance, I want you to show me again about shooting the curl. All right, love doctors, your plan's a dud. If you four were competing for Village Idiot, there'd be a photo finish. Well, maybe with older people, the love signals are more complex. I know this. Once you fall in love with someone, she'll forever occupy a place in your heart. Oh, like me? No. Amber, give it time. They need to simmer, stew, get their yeah. juices flowing. Yeah. They are my parents, not a pot roast. And their juices are flowing, unfortunately, all over their new toys. Look. Doggy. Well, hold it. Love Doctor Plan B. If Trip and Ginger want to run with the young doggies, let's see if we can make the track a little more challenging for them.
great party trip. Thanks, Jen. Michelle seems like a very healthy girl. Thank you. And Lance is quite a strapping guy. You need help. Would you mind? You too? Please. Oh. How's your back? <laughs> Dreadful. Yours? Uh, like Lombard Street. Uh, I, I'm sorry about our fight. Me too. Uh, Want to go home? silky back hair. Oh, well, we'll just have to make do with yours. <laughs> ah. mm. Back hair? I don't even want to know about it. Hey, now why'd you say we're here? I didn't. Oh, no, don't tell me Tripp's moving out again. No. And for you, look, I'll just say it, happy. <laughs> I knew that somewhere in that sick Twisted lump of putty you call a brain? You wanted your parents back together. I knew it. Mm. Uh -huh. Wrong, but thanks for playing. <laughs> Trip and Ginger are going on a month-long European second honeymoon. Yes! I am now mayor of Marinsville. Uh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? They watch party sequels! <laughs> Now, Buttercup, you uh, know how to reach us in Paris. Oui, oui. Woo! Must be the limo driver. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Bobby Marins? Hi, Mom. We thought you could use the company. Oh, this doesn't blow. Relax, my little dreidel. Wait till you see the activities I've planned for us and your little friends. Ta-da! Oh, <laughs>